It is Wednesday, July 12th, 8.48 p.m. The yurt is completely flooded. It has um, been raining almost non-stop. I can see my light's not working right there. The LED light keeps coming on and off. But um, the yurt has... Um, got a leak in it on the floor the roof's fine it's the floor that we needed to deal with there's like two or three inches of standing water I tried bailing it out and I got it down and then it started raining again so it looks like the floor of the yurt's going to have to be raised I think the rugs all got ruined kind of sad right now <laughs> I um, crawled into the safety of my tent. I have to get out of my fan is blowing. My fan is blowing. And some water's coming in. There's it is Wednesday, July 12th, 2017, at about 8.53 p.m. It has been raining nonstop at the compound, and the yurt ended up getting flooded. The flooring of the yurt is about two or three inches underwater. I uh, bailed out the water before, but it started raining again, and water is getting in somehow to the floor. And I couldn't bail the water out fast enough. So it looks like the um, the rug, the rugs, all three of them may be ruined. Um. I ended up having to crawl inside this tent because mosquitoes are out in force. There's like a million mosquitoes out there and I'm basically sleeping on a tent on a platform in a swamp. Of course, you know, I'm building in Florida, which is a swamp. So, I think a mosquito got in here, but I don't know if you can see the LED light. It's coming on on by itself. I guess moisture in the air made the thing came on. And I don't want to open the door to try to shut it off because um, there's like a million mosquitoes out there. Because I opened the door to try to get the water out. Uh, i got to figure out what to do. I think the floor is going to have to be raised somehow. I know somebody suggested pallets. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to pick up the pallets. And I don't think I can get enough of them um, if I can even get any free ones. I have to look and see if I can get some free ones. But then you still have to get wood or whatever to put on top of the floor. Which I don't have access to. So I am debating what to do about raising the floor. But the floor definitely has to be raised because right now it is about three inches underwater. Ah, uh, woe is me. <laughs> Welcome to the glamorous yurt life. Oh, woe is me. Welcome to the not so glamorous yurt life. <laughs> oh. I got to make it through tonight and tomorrow I'll deal with this mess because right now my feet are all like puffy from being underwater trying to um, bail the water out. I'm thankful that the, the tent is here and that it's on a platform. If it wasn't dark I would be in my van right now but it's too dark outside and there's a million mosquitoes all over the place so I'm going to try to sleep through tonight. Hopefully my shoes and stuff, my shoes are out there. I hope they don't float away. Everything's all wet out there. Everything's underwater. <laughs> <laughs>